slick talker. Now, now, how do you feel about my song, Hillary Clinton? I have a song, Hillary Clinton. A lot of people here have heard it. It's a video on YouTube. Hillary Clinton oh, wow. and Paper Boy Prince. And Is it positive to us or a negative? It's just a dance and it's a fun song. Should, should, should I show it to you or, should, or, or what do you think? What's, is, is, what's the name of it? It's called Hillary Clinton. What do you think? And that's the name? Oh, I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. just Hillary Clinton. It's called Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Pa Hillary Clinton, Paperboy, Prince of the Suburbs. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll give you one of my uh, trading cards. <laughs> but, but, so wait. So, Red Pilkin, you came here from the Bronx to here. No, from, I live in Long Island. You came here from Long Island. Yes. And, and j just to come to He Will Not Divide Us. And yes, and I was hoping there was there were there were more social justice warriors, so I could try to wake them out of their 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 um fluoride induced uh brain fart. Wait, why are you so? But why are you so? It does it seem like you're so angry against people who come here and just want to spread love? Because you have and happiness. because because when, my, because happiness, when Milo wants to go to a college and speak. Look what happens in um in California when someone goes to um spew um free speech. Look what happens but, over there. But, I'm yeah I'm in a rage because it, it's not enough of us. Um, do you see Trump porters um out there acting a fool? No, so, we're right. peaceful. Shout out to I see y'all questions. Um, so my question for you is this: two questions. We're gonna get to the Federal Reserve. I, I want to ask you, what do you think about Bernie Sanders? Because Bernie, like, like Bernie, Bernie Sanders, I gotta tell you, Bernie Sanders is a socialist, and we can't but, have. But, but, uh, and, what's and, bad about socialism? Right, and and there's no college is free, and they always tell you that, but they run out of other people's money. So they raise but, other people's but, taxes. I asked you, there's nothing free. It's a scam. He's a socialist. Bernie Sanders but listen, would never work. It's about capitalism. What's, 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 what's what is so great about capital capitalism? That's what build us. That's what build up the world. Capitalism had built up the whole wait, world. Wait, the United wait, States wait, used wait, to be the wait, beacon. Wait. Every country wait, looked at America as a part of a beacon for freedom and liberty and justice. Okay. So do you realize that capitalism? That, that allows you to have that jacket, those sweatpants, yes. that, that has those shoes, yes. is the same capitalism that has somebody in another country working like slave labor? Because it's crooked capitalism. So they can get, so they because can, that's crooked capitalism. You know what I'm saying? We want the clean capitalism. capitalism. That's the type of capitalism that the Republican Party, that the Democratic Party, that this country has allowed to exist and yes, continue possibly, for a long time. Possibly, so what I'm yes. saying is, when you yes. go so much about capitalism, we need to focus on giving it back to the people. One of the things... And you, that's what Donald Trump you, is you say going to do. You call, you call, you call, you that's call, why he's going to Bernie Sanders you. a socialist. You call Bernie Sanders that's a socialist. Right. That's right, this. because they spend other this. people's money. But, but, they spend other people's but, but you money. Say, but, but you support the cops, right? You, realize, me? you support the police. Right? Yeah, like of do, course. Right? Yeah, well, damn right. Like I, do. I so, love you, police. So, so my I love you, blue. Don't you realize that socialist, oh, yeah. socialist, the, having the police is a socialist program. That's something we all pay for and we all benefit from. It's yeah, true. but guess what? They're training the police in a way that they are acting. They are training the police to act the way you know that they're acting. You know what a street is, right? We all pay for a street and we yeah. all benefit from it. Yeah, that's a, so, yeah. That's a basic yeah. example of like a social. Oh, so, yes, yes. Right? Okay, so just like just you like you went to school in the in the, in the, in the yes, Bronx, yes, right? Yes. Yes. So, so if you went to a public school, that's a socialist. Program. And yeah, and look how fucked up the public schools are. Right. They're nothing but so, brainwashing. So, so, That's so why we, we have more people so what do we like need? this we need more roaming all around. No, we don't. No, we you don't. Not Take the government out of schools so, okay. and school would be more affordable. So, Remove government infusion of money and all colleges and universities universities so, will be cheaper that's, to go that's to that's a terrible idea don't you that's see a terrible because idea. that's what that's they want idea. they I, want to spend dude, other people's money that would just that would just be a larger gap between the educated and uneducated between the rich and poor if we don't help to give equal education to all people in this country and across the world so no um but my question for you is this the federal reserve Abolish it. Abolish the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve. Ever since the Federal Reserve because. has been in put in existence, along with the IRS, they were designed to keep us in taxes and to take us down. I want the 
come to audit the Fed. That's what I would like, because the Fed hey. has been a part of the problem from the day they started. Just hey, like I the actually, IRS. I actually agree with this guy on that one. Um, I agree with that. Red Pill Ken at Twitter. Alright, I'm going to do a Red Pill Ken freestyle right now, because he's, he's going off. We got Red Pill Ken. He wants to make America great again. No, we are He's going coming to make out America here. He's trying to do again. it for Donald Trump. No, for the American people. He's saying it's doing not it for about, the American people. It's not a, but the stuff he Trump supports sometimes sounds kind of evil. I don't even know. He's talking about different vehicles. But to me, yo, you like Evil Knievel. You're out here stunting. You, you call like me evil, I'm, I'm, evil I'm, I'm, when I'm, I'm giving said, people wait, the truth. This, this is just a freestyle. People that was just a see metaphor. all through you that, gotta that lady. Finish. You gotta. Oh, 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 we got a bunch of. What we got? Yes, people. I'm glad to have come to you to let you know that we're all in this together. We don't want to be divided. We don't want to be divided. It's all about Americana. It's all about Americana. Free will, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution. That's what, that's what man wrote, the Constitution, not Sharia law. Sharia law is incompatible okay, the Constitution, to the Constitution. Why do you love the Constitution so much? Don't, don't you think we can make something more about more positive than the Constitution right now? No, I love the Constitution. The Constitution stays the, Constitution. the same and will not be touched. And look at who we picked you, for the you, Supreme you, you, Court. You realize, I love you realize that. If the Constitution was never touched, you wouldn't have the free speech. If the Constitution was never touched, you wouldn't have the right to bear arms. Yeah. If the yeah. Constitution was never touched. They, slavery would never be right. Violent. Just like they touched the Bible, the Women same would have never thing. Had the right to vote. I'm just saying, like amendments to the Constitution are a positive thing. Um, so you know, okay. Um, shout out to y'all. All right. Yeah. Um, keep leaving some uh, comments. Make sure you follow. Um, listen. I tried to do my freestyle. He completely cut off my freestyle. He, he didn't want to because I'm bringing you truth. It's not about nah, nah, nothing free. Nah, not even nah. freestyle is free. Right, right, you right, got right, to right, invest right, right, in right, learning right. how to do freestyle. Right, but, nothing is but, free. But what I got to say is healthcare. Nothing is free. Someone else pays for it. Right. That's just a part of a. That's just a part of life. Yo, this guy is very, um, very intense and angry right now. There's a lot of children around. Um, uh, I, I don't know what's, I don't know why, um, yeah, I don't know. So, one love to y'all, man, one love. Yes, uh, one was, love he, to you. He, he we're all in this together, baby, he was and, we gonna, and we're going to change That's all this social justice warrior thinking. Trump is going to change, he's going to convert all of these people. Convert to what? Yeah. Convert to what? To the American way. Because if you want to yell, I can yell too. I'm just saying, to I'm the American saying, way. If you want to yell, I can yell the too. The American I way. I can yell too. Freedom, I, 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 I know freedom, liberty, 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 I said, dude, have you ever heard yeah, of Uncle Yeah, this guy, yeah. Yeah, you see, you're a cartoon yeah. character to him. Yeah, it's alright, so it's alright, so it's okay. Yeah. You come up confrontational. This guy comes up confrontational. The first thing he has to do, everybody knows young papers spread love. The first thing I did to you, I said, yeah, what's up? Yeah. I love you. One, yeah. one love. I right. talked to you. Right. We had a heated conversation. Yeah. I never yeah. raised my voice. Right. You were raising the voice the whole time. I right. never raised my voice. Y'all right. already talking. You're raising the voice. Yeah. It's about, this is about knowledge, bro. No, I, yeah, I, you're out here. You're out here talking 
the camera, bro. Hey, bro, you're up here talking. No, you're out here hogging the camera, talking about hogging the camera. Hogging the camera. You're just out here reading Twitter. If you want to be in the camera, get in the camera. Y'all asking some real questions, man. I've been asking them questions. Then move out of the way, let me get in the camera. Go for it. Go for it. Look at this guy. The only thing you want to talk about is me. The first thing you want to talk about is me. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going nowhere. Now I'm not going anywhere. Because the first thing you want to come out and talk about is me. You have nothing to say. You're bro. You have nothing to say. All right, so you were mentioning that. What was the book you were mentioning about propaganda? And this guy is with grenades. Can you recommend? Can you recommend some other stuff? Like a tragedy and hope. Carol Quigley. Tragedy and hope. Read it. Read Agenda 2130. Read Agenda 2130. There's most about it. Read 1984. Read 1984. You read it. It tells you about. What's the answer to 
Yo, I hear filibustering, man. We know that. I'm going to do a freestyle you're, about you this guy right nothing, here. Bro. See, this guy came out here. He came out here mad. He was at home at his computer. He was feeling no, really sad. He saw, we want to have him out here. We want to bring the glass. We have the glass. That's why I'm mad. Because 1984 ain't happening. That's right. That's what it is. Live. 1776, baby. Listen, bro. Alex Jones, baby. Hey, listen. Listen. This is an info war. This is an info war. That's what we're involved in. This is an info war. I'm sorry, Brian, for being so loud in the apartment and bringing that passion. But I'm sorry. But I'm trying to. Please, please I've, been this dude, man. I've been talking to this dude. I, we've had a good conversation. Yes, we have. Yeah. 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 You can, I'm the one who's been loud. You're the because I'm, I, I'm trying, trying to raise the up out of there. I, I never hid myself. Y'all know, know everything about me now. You're the page. Chill, look I'm at you. I'm not going to lie. You're dressed in all black. You're trying to hide. It was calm. You came out here pushing. trying to hide. What's up? I ain't trying to hide nothing, man. You're pushing me. That's the fifth time you pushed me. That's why you're wearing your costume. You're trying to hide, This isn't my costume. I've been dressing like this. This is how I live. Express I'm an artist. Don't get mad because I'm an artist. Like, no, no, I'm, I'm an artist. artist. You filibuster. This I'm man speaking filibuster. truth and out here calling That's his name. That's all I am. Filibuster. Red right. pill. Am, Red pill kid. Right. 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 He will not divide us. I love America. I love the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. First there was God. God made man. Man made the Constitution. And then the Constitution made government. Listen. If that goes in reverse, we're in tyranny. We, we're turning it back exactly. upside tyranny. down. Listen. And that's what Trump is doing. Say, he will not divide us. That's what I'm going to say. He will not divide us. He will not divide us. Yeah, they're dividing themselves. He will not divide us. 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 When you say Trump is bringing us together, it's true. He's bringing people who have similar views together. He will not divide us. And what are those views? He will not divide us. Whether it's your side or our side, what view is it? What do you interpret? He will not divide us. He will not divide us. He will not divide us. Yeah, what do you interpret Trump's views to be? He will not divide us. I just feel like I don't think he has to like control human like like responsibilities. Yeah. And then, by the way, I'm talking y'all. I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking oh, yeah, y'all normally. It. I just don't it's understand. Like, show, like, man. Yo, you're paid it. to be here, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah, this y'all already y'all already can tell, bro. You're, you're the one looking for the cash. Obviously, he will not divide us. He will not divide us. Yo, everybody accuses me of getting paid to be here. I actually love it. That that must be mean we're doing a good job. That must mean we're actually spreading love. That must mean that this that this um that this movement is 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 starting to be stronger than ever, and that people are starting to learn and people are starting to grow and we're starting to connect no matter what. That's that must like, mean. Uh, it must mean we must be looking good like, when everyone comes out here and we dance and we have dance parties and, and we stand yeah, up for our like, rights. That that's what that means. If it looks like I'm getting get paid to be here, so you thank you. He will not divide us. Yo, shout out to everyone asking the questions. Um, I'm not gonna let them stop um, just because they said stuff on Twitter. Let's see. Has been under control. But almost a shadow government. Yeah. And you have Got people like lips. Bushes, you have people yes. like Clinton, Obama. The Bilderberg. They've been yes. playing, dude, I'm Puerto yes. Rican. Yeah, they've been playing yes. us. They're playing with our feelings, bro. Right. So yeah, you know what? They've Trump, been, been manipulated. Trump, Trump ain't Obama as far right. as like, He's saying not. things in the nicest Never way. But, but dude, he had to do what he did to knock these people. These people don't give a fuck about you and me, bro. Right, they, they don't. They see us as a demographic. They don't. That's why they put Obama in Right. There. Obama did it to set this set. Trump is never By the way, people who are asking about what am I arguing, I didn't come here to argue. You know, I didn't I'm here to spread my political that. views. Um, if, I, if you want to hear them, I'll share my. Okay, Trump has topic. never been to Bilderberg. Never. I, I don't use this platform to share my political views. Um, I just come to spread love because I feel like that's a more powerful message and that's a non-divisive message and he will not divide us. So that's why when y'all see me here and y'all say, why am I just asking questions? Why am I not going back and forth? It's because I'm here to spread love. Because they're nationalists. He will not divide us. Divide. But so listen, we got past slavery, that was a big issue. And but we stopped slavery. Exactly. We broke it up. But the Constitution itself is a beautiful document. Yes, it is. To all of us. And they're trying to guess. Yes. Yeah, he will not divide us. I actually gotta go. That's a yes. beautiful, uh, beautiful yes. My problem is that ever since Lots the guy of love. got a He will not divide us. Hello. Hello. Did you say he will not divide us? Right. Man. Right. Y'all can't be, you should, can't come. be out here. Like, right. I, don't, I don't know if y'all are Hillary supporters. Yeah, yeah, you they just don't say, you're not divided for the American people. They don't want prosperity for the American people. Like. Okay. Yeah. 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 You want me to take a picture? I can definitely take a picture for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah.
Yes, yes. And he's going to convert and you. He, Donald Trump. I think I think she just wanted a single picture. Oh, okay. I'm in a tough position. Do you like Trump? I'm in a tough position, right? Okay. And I can't get I, it. I'm I'm all about having leaders that that speak with intelligence, that speak with grace, and obviously Trump is just a brash dude. Oh, thank you. That, that's a tough thing. You. He's not a politician. Yeah, we're just you know it's, out here trying to have fun. It's everything I have. Red love. Is to get right. with this is a. Uh, have you heard about this? Yeah. It's yeah, everything in my body. People are actually checking it out right now. It's a fight to. Let minorities know yeah, that they right. have been. Do you have anything to say? You know, psychologically enslaved yep. by the Democratic Party yep. and Republicans. That's, right. That's why when sure. Trump came in, right. he had Republicans and Democrats against him. If yes. Was, this guy thinks he's the globalist right. elite. Then why? How come everyone was against right. him? Right. That's right. true. That's true. Right. Yes. I'm, I'm a libertarian myself. Thank like, I'm you. not really a strong Republican. I'm all about the constitutional right. rights so. in this guy. Yeah. He will not divide us. Spread love every day. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. The reason that y'all yes, seeing different Trump views being expressed yes, is because Trump was that. That's right. because Trump this is a I'm, great like country and diversity yes, Trump, just doesn't yes, mean yes, race, yes, right? Yes, that diversity yeah, doesn't everybody. just mean gender. Yeah, diversity means diversity of thought. It means diversity of experience. It means diversity. It means just diversity in general. So that's the beauty of ha that's why when I have the opportunity to talk to different people, you know, it's about being diverse. It's about get, seeing that from that angle. Um, all right, y'all. Yeah, I know the freestyle. I try to do a thing where I freestyle back to people when when they're talking just nonsense, and um, it's kind of hard to do. So, I'm, but I'm getting better. Um, paper got milk. Right, he's not a politician. So you would rather have people um, who are well spoken, look the part, dress the and that's the thing. And somebody, somebody like Hillary, like Obama, somebody like Barack, they're trained. Like Obama, they're trained. They're trained in the art of rhetoric. They're yeah. Right. Um. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I love uh, knowledge, you know. You got I love learning. I so shout out to everybody sending me articles and stuff like that. I'm definitely gonna check them out right now. I'm, I'm like, I, you know, it's obviously not reading time, but we're definitely gonna check it out. Okay. Yo. Um, okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving all the different, different. Uh, but my know, only interest because you're mm -hmm. the and words my and stuff that people are saying. When I was 21, right, no. I was right. out there with the SJW. Right. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad I actually got to have this experience. They're, not, um, they're being led you know, by right. superior power yes. who are teling them how to do things. And, uh, and a lot of people here are just spreading, this is a real they're spreading revolution. stuff that is just randomness, stuff that they're not educated on, stuff that these are people who have never talked about outside the country who have never left the country. Um, talking about uh, different and languages, and people who never talk Trump to people, people. Not Trump who, Trump. who Trump. practice different religions or from different places. So, well, it depending um, on what Trump. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it really depends. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Really, like, try to pick a lot of it's gonna be a landslide in four years. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Obviously, some people think that he might not allow this thing to just. Yeah, I, I, I hit you up earlier. Let me back now because I got some right. He was he has voted yeah. conservative. He was the most conservative voter tonight, of all. Time. So. Yeah. I'm gonna he be back later tonight, guys. No matter what the legislation uh, was, yeah. we look at the Constitution. He said, huh? and no. people among them will cut the rug under him. So all what the happened? Time. What happened with Ron Paul? He was one of the kindest-hearted people to yeah. ever run for president. Seriously, an undershot. He had a big movie. They found some news letter. I gotta go. Um, maybe 20, 30 people writing articles. And you put out I don't know. I mean, I, I, and part of me also feels like I shouldn't have to argue certain things when sometimes y'all can just see and hear. Because I've, I've do one thing that's true is I've gotten to say my piece several times. So when someone else talks, sometimes I just like to interview, be the paper, paper boy, first of the suburb. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I, that's 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 my personal thing. Um, yo, shout out to all of y'all, um, everyone who's. Yeah. He will not yeah. divide us. Shout out Terry K. Fitter, Debo, um, shout out Trump. Kush so Kurt, um, Cooked Keck, um, let me see who else yeah. recently commented. Shayna Phillips, 86, uh, Hefe Perro. I'm even shouting out the people who say negative stuff about me because it's like, to me, it's like, he yo, real. he will not divide he us. Like, I, still, like I still see it, I still hear it, and it's like, it's all about It's because this dude calls everyone a racist who disagrees with him. That's, that's bullshit. So it ain't negative. You spread negativity, and we're not responding to it with intellect and truth, man. I only called you, I never called you a racist. No, no, dude, and the only thing I'm saying about you, the only thing 
that I'm saying about you is I feel like you're a negative person because you came up to me, the first thing you said was negative, the second thing you said was negative, the third thing you said was negative, and then you pushed me, and you pushed me, and then you kept hurling I wasn't, insults I wasn't at me. pushing you. And you. Yes, you did. I did this? It's on camera. You pushed me. And then after that, you know, you focus on the negative things that you feel about How me. How else am I supposed and, to get in front of the camera say, when you say You can't like say any that. positive things about me. My thing is, I feel like I'm a good person. I feel like I spread love. I've been yeah, having fun. Yeah, 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 but you just on the wrong side. side on the wrong and side. And we're allowed to agree to disagree. Part. That's why. And, no, and, 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 and I'm allowed wait, to say you know, what I want. I'm going to be honest. I can't. I'm going to say what I want. I'm going to say this. Shout out to Shia LaBeouf because Shia LaBeouf has spread love. No, Shia LaBeouf. And he's Shia LaBeouf, you're a clown. I'm open out the valley. You can jump up in my face. Nah, 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 Yo, that's shout out to I who? Do. Shout that's out to I them. Do. And that's, that's not the Trump supporter. Come out, yo. This hate speech, he will not divide us. That's no, filibustering, no. bro. Shout out to Trump is under mind control. That's true. That's true. First You're of all, the mind control. control. The main thing that I do when I come out here is this. He will not divide us. Hey, hey, he and will not divide not. us. And he's not. And he's not. That's cool, but you're not calling people racist. He's not. I call people racist. You don't know how many times I was called an immigrant in one day. You don't know how many times I witnessed people say negative things to Jewish people, homophobic things to me. And they don't even know anything about me. You said drinking milk was racist, right? That's the only thing y'all focus on. Like y'all have, y'all have a problem with me saying drinking milk. Yes. You still believe drinking milk is racist? I don't think drinking milk, drinking is mil milk is racist. I think that when you drink milk the way that that guy was drinking milk and the way that the other guys have been drinking milk, that's, that's what racist. I'm talking about. It ain't racism, man. How you gonna tell me I'm black? Are you black? Yes. Are you black? Wait, yes what are you or no? talking about, man? Are you black? Yes or no? Uh, no, I'm not black. Okay, cool. All what right. does that have to do with anything? All right. That, so how are you going to tell me what, what I should be offended by? We don't see color. Have you ever been a part of a racial organization? I don't care who you are. Yes, I have. Which one? All lives matter. I'm not going to put them out there right now. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this guy. He got I, guarantee, I guarantee I've been more involved over the years than you have for your own community. But that's brother. deflecting. Guarantee. That's deflecting. You're asking me about milk being racist when you have no sympathy when someone's calling us N words, people were pushing us, spitting and stuff on people, when was blowing this? smoke on Yo, babies. What, 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 this is on Saturday what about right people here. getting, what about oh, Trump supporters getting assaulted? As last night. What about Trump supporters getting assaulted? But those Trump supporters? I don't know anything about it. No, oh, but you don't know nothing about that. They weren't Trump supporters. They were No, they wasn't. Then they were infiltrated. Us Trump reporters are. Oh, oh non-violent. We don't come with violence. It's the Democratic Party that's the the, the party of the Ku Klux Klan who are violent. They're totalitarians. They don't want to hear your point of view. They're a cult. You're a cult, Democratic Party. And if you want to get back to the top, if you want to get back to the top, Democratic Party, I'll solve that issue for you. Adopt the same principles that Donald Trump has brought to the table and the Democratic Party will rise from the ashes that you're currently going under. He will not divide us. He will not divide us. That's right. He will not divide us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. God bless America and God bless Donald J. Trump. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm, I'm actually out Thank you. Nice talking to you. You're out. Hey, good nice talking, talking to you. you. Good talking to you. Nice talking to you. Good talking yeah. to you too. See, we can all, we can all, day, we can all share what we hate. believe and leave. Yeah. As he says, I'm gonna of course say, follow me at Paperboy the Prince. Spread love. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all got any words of love or encouragement, if y'all have any words of hate, send them my way too. You know what I'm saying? Because he will not divide us. He's gonna bring us together. Ha <laughs> paper. Yeah. <laughs> going crazy. I'm, gl I'm glad I was here for that, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm glad I was here for that. Yo, I you guys mind taking a group photo? Let's do it. Oh, wow, this is dope. Wow, this is dope. 
Wait, you have a card? Oh yeah. Her piece though. Here, I I'll just. Yeah, let's see this picture. Oh, yeah. Hey, dogs and people not divide us. Hey, hey, we got another dog here. What's what's her name? Abby. Oh, Shout out Abby. Oh, she's <laughs> peeing. Oh, Abby. Oh. Making her statement. Abby. Oh. Abby she was here. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. Well, I'm glad I saw that. I know not to lay down there. All right. Are we about to, how are we about to take the picture this way? Just to show the fuck with this world. Praise to her. I'm gonna ask if this guy can take a picture for us. I will. Yeah, I'll take a picture. Like. And with me and the mic? Yeah, and with the mic. It's the type of incendiary that's present in all of the trade center best. It is the best hard evidence You can press the white button on it. Alright, red pill! Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Let's, let's, uh, RPK! We gotta get you in the picture. And yo, shout out to all y'all. I just want to say, the dude who came up at the end, the um, guy who said he was Puerto Rican and like all this stuff, I still got love for him, you know. Um, I'm just, yo, I'm just talking about you right now, saying, yo, I got love for you, bro. I got, talk, all right, talk to me, let's, let's, I, I got, I got love for you. You know, I, I have up, to head out, up. but I gotta say this. I have love for you. My mission is to just spread positivity, human not divide us, you know, and I understand that you feel a certain type of way. And I, I accept all critiques, you know. I, I'm not perfect. I never said yeah. I was perfect. And that's one of the main things I said. My, my thing is this, um, you know, I never meant to offend you with anything I say. No, you don't You don't offend me, but but it's... But, I, you, I feel like you're out here filibuster, man. Dude was out here talking, man. And it's one thing if you ask him a question, then you let him answer. Do start answering. You're not even... You're just on your phone, then you shout out right, to do, well, shout out to that. Well, half, half on, the bro. questions I asked, as soon as I'm like, well... This question first is about the fact. We're not gonna say a like that's what he was doing every time. Whoa, 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 so I didn't even get the answer to my question. I didn't even get my question. That, that's, well, I was watching. That's not necessarily true, man. All right, yeah, so Duke yeah. came out here and and he made his presence. He came in like a boss. Boom, 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 boom. Right. And then they said, yeah, you gotta quiet down. And he was talking to folks out here. That was fine. You came out here, and I'm, I'm telling you, you're filibustering, bro. You standing out here. Oh, you see this dude? He don't he remind you of Boondocks, dude? Blah 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 blah. Yo, blah. doesn't he remind you of Boondocks? But as he's talking, but, though, but, man. But I asked him. I didn't say don't he remind you of Boondocks. I said, have you ever seen the Boondocks, which is a very political show? Wait, what happened? And the, the creator of that actually went to my university, so it was pertinent information. I said, have you ever seen the Boondocks uh, by Aaron Magruder? You, you know, remind me of one of the characters no, 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 you, on it. And you cannot I mean, say he does not remind you of I got you, I got you. You're a fun-loving dude. You're all about fun. But the dude was saying some real shit, and y'all here talking about cartoons, How many bro? times did that? Did you see how many times I said I actually agree with that? Some of the stuff he was saying, I said I agree with that. I watched maybe the first 10 minutes of the conversation. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go out here because, dude, right, right, I'm not, right, right. you know, I'd rather be perceived as negative than, than just to... Like you gotta know that, bro. That's filibuster, man. And I ain't no racist. I ain't no not. I never said you're racist. I'm not saying you said that. The people who say that, but no, people are throwing. And listen, the people are throwing that shit around like it's nothing, bro. No, no, no. And that's bullshit. And that that's how that's how we won. That's why we won. Alright, but the thing is, right? What you see in this little circle that's in the camera, and then when when somebody calls me the N word right here, or says it over here, or spits in somebody's face, or blows smoke in a baby's face on this sacred ground, and says. um if it wasn't that for that baby, it'd be a bloodbath right here. But you see, I, that's not what I'm seeing. But though. that's that's you not see, what you're when saying. I turn, so when I turn in the so, street, so, I, so when somebody like says somebody's time, racist, you gotta you understand know, they're speaking so of stuff like, that know, that people purposely do away from the camera. That people purposely do stuff away from the camera. That's all I'm saying, bro. All right, just 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 be careful about who you're tying in with that and shit, man, because that ain't right, man. I don't trust you. You got you got a really good wait wait wait. I learned what racism is. You got a you got a really good dude out here. Who he's about the anti-vegan agenda? He ain't talking. I've talked to him personally. He ain't talking nothing about race. Are you black? Nothing about okay. white supremacy, okay. brother. I'm a minority too, right, man. Right, right, right. 
I'm not a minority. So because I'm you're black, you got exclusive I'm, rights I'm to, to you got exclusive rights to any conversation. I'm talking about. Black I people. just said if you were black, then you could dis, you could say maybe say he wasn't being racist. If you were here on Saturday, you could maybe say that. But oh, so because I'm not true. black, I can't say that he wasn't you racist. Can't, you can't say that someone who did something personally to me wasn't racist. You don't you don't own that, brother. You don't own that. It was to me. It's not about you, bro. It's 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 something he did to me. What I'm saying is I'm not saying I own racism. I'm saying that incident that was done to me, I can claim that it was done to me. So you're saying the dude was drinking milk, he, he said something racist to you, what did he say? What do you yeah, say? Bro. I just want to know. I, I, I've, 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 or tell me off screen. I've had to know. explain that every day since. I'm going to do that later but because I'm already got to go. Tell, but I'm going to say this. I want to know. I want to know. What do you say I was racist? Tell, tell you what. Tell me. Tell I'm going to be back here later. I'm going to tell you. I got to go because they're about to take you. about to take you. But look, he will not divide us. One love. Y'all already know. Drink milk. Drink water. Drink Kool-Aid. Ha, paper. Yeah. Take care, man. love. What's up, brother? Come on, man. Yeah. What's your end game? Yeah, I'm just watching. Just enjoying. <laughs> just enjoying. I'll talk to you about that. I'll talk to you about the issues. Well, and then let's go. So, what's your end game, brother? What are you doing out here? I'm here to raise awareness for. We're trying to bring people back to religion because the Demo not the Democrats in America has slowly taken God out of out of religion, unfortunately. God out of the country. So, we're, I'm trying to bring that back. How so? By promoting, by promoting religion, by promoting the belief in one God. Promoting all religion or just promoting uh, Judaism? Well, not promoting Judaism. Judaism, we don't believe in conversion, actually. We don't believe that somebody should convert to Judaism. We believe you could be, God created you the way you are, and you can go to heaven. You just have to believe in God. There's seven, there's, there's seven basic laws you have to believe in, but the main one is believe in God. So that, that was why I came out here. Um, I thought it would be actually a little more full. Depends on the time of day. Only if Shia LaBeouf's here, because most people come when the celebrities out here, so they can no, they could be on camera. Last night, last night, like I, Stephen well, Crowder. Like, I, I bet there were. There's that group of people who obviously. Well, number two, when he shows up, or when Stephen Crowder showed up last yes, night, today, and yeah. he's like a, a right wing. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he showed up. All of a sudden, everyone showed up. He left. All of a sudden, he bounced. Shia LaBeouf shows up. All of a sudden, he will not divide. He bounces and his and his paper boy filibuster. So it's. That's what I'm saying, boy. man. Who's that? Oh, it's my man, my man that was over here that I was oh, that arguing guy. with. I actually Red decided pill. to come when there was no problem. No, I yeah, saw that, yeah. and, and y'all were like, having no, a no, no, conversation. Yeah, like, no, I understand. Like, uh, I mean, I was actually going to try to come uh, on a Saturday night, but I saw how it was just yeah, overwhelming. That's, that's how I planned it, too. And like, it's like, I it's not like I don't want to be a part of it or don't want to speak to people. I just sometimes, I just wanted to come. I've never been here before. You've been here before? Yeah, I've never been there. I look no, close. Very, yeah, very good. Good. Explain so, your explain your end game to the camera. Okay, so <laughs> the whole world watching. Yeah, listen, we have to bring God back into the country. We can see that people get turned off as violence and things erupt. But when we keep strong, we keep it together in our belief, things are okay. The seven seven laws. You keep these laws. You keep the seven. You go to heaven. Number one. These are for the. This is for the wall. These are universal laws. That if you keep these, you'll be blessed with happiness, and we will not be divided. We will not be divided. One nation under God. Number one, believe in one God. One God created this world. That's how we're here. When we when we follow that law, good. Number two, don't blaspheme, don't curse God. He's a, God is good. He's done so much good for us. Don't curse Him. Number three, don't kill. Someone died. That's what they say. Someone died at this at these Berkeley riots. Unacceptable. No killing. Number four, don't steal. If something doesn't belong to you. Leave it. Number five, don't commit adultery. Respect the family. Respect the family unit. Number six. Um, don't eat the limb of a living animal. Make sure it's slaughtered beforehand in a in a in a, 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 a humane way. Obviously, we have to respect. You know, we have to respect. There's, a, there's another law in Judaism against um, um, violence against animals. Very very important. Um, and number seven is make a justice system. We see President Trump. God should bless him. He set up a. For the for the Supreme Court, 
an amazing nominee, somebody who believes in God. We should keep that going. L'chaim, l'chaim, have a great Shabbos. And if you're nearby, please come down. I'm going to be here for another few more minutes. Put on tefillin, do another mitzvah. Bring Mashiach, Yechi HaMalach. He will not divide us. God will not divide us. God will make us all together. What's the truth behind what you're saying? What are your sources? Where are you getting that from? As opposed to just be like, all right, you got your opinion. I'm gonna let you do your thing, because then nobody's learning nothing. It's of course just, not. You know. True, but it's good to be open-minded. Exactly. That's my very point. good to feel. Especially when you're a young minority and, and you're moving through this world where you got politicians bullshitting us left and right, and and they're trying to group us all into one thing. We're like, oh. Oh, you're black and you voted for Ever Trump? Come on, man. Or I came out here once and I said I'm a Puerto, Puerto Rican Trump supporter. He said you could be a racist. He said you could be a, you couldn't describe what's racist if you're a white. Well, he's saying yeah. Well, I was I was bringing up something. He said, uh, well, are you black? Well, then, all right. And he's like, yo, it ain't about that. But I came out here once and said I'm a Puerto Rican Trump supporter. And dude's like, oh, you're Puerto Rican? Damn, bro, that's disappointing. And it's like that's a real problem, man. When, when when I'm supposed to think like every other Puerto Rican, that's what I mean. It's like but you know, you can't be too open-minded that your brain will fall out. You can't be... <laughs> you heard that? Well, well yeah, there has to be a fine open-minded. line. If you're so open-minded, then you come up with, like, you can just, like, accept everything, like, incest and, like, of course not. oh, right. marry his dog. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> right? It's why you're open-minded, you know? Let them <laughs> explore. Sometimes we can't be too open-minded, you know? No, yeah. Our brains will fall out, like I said. That's how we respect everybody else's opinion. You know, sometimes what we say is like you gotta take the grain of salt. Yeah. But, but like then you have to ask. I mean, is it really my job to stop a man from marrying his dog? I mean, if that's how he wants to go. Well, about his I life. mean, the world is so big. If we're gonna get on that <laughs> yeah, kind of like, subject, I think we should focus on like the, the issues, like how like, how change well, is probably. coming now and how we're basically. At the forefront of it, you know, we we're at the forefront of right. momentum shit. Like, but but one thing that's happening now is people are forgetting the past. You have to look at the last 30 years, the last four administrations, to really understand what it is that that we've been dealing with, yeah. and why Trump is doing what he's doing, and why it seems so harsh. They already had a candidate named Ron Paul, who was the nice guy, but people rejected him over nothing. They were just like, oh, he's he's old, he's white, he must be racist. So now they came back with somebody uh, a lion. They came with the lamb. Yeah. Nobody liked him, so they came with the lion and he won. So they did what they had to do to win the election. But y'all can't forget the past. Because I know all y'all are youngins, man. I'm, I'm 30 years old. Do not overlook what the Clintons have done to the minorities, especially the black people, brother. They, they've been playing y'all, man. Even with Obama, they were playing y'all, man. What, what has Obama done for anybody? We, we're we're still being played. I, mean, I know. The 1% I mean, is, we've been they're, playing, they're so smacking we're us play. left and right. And we have to be here to let them know that this is this needs to come to an end. And I don't believe that Donald Trump is the one to change it. I no, but, but he's one man. I believe that his policies right. are going to set us up to be financially stable as a country again. And not have to depend on foreign policies and not have to depend on China for money. See, the issue uh, is, I, I, I actually respect people who are rich. Yeah. They worked hard. They, yeah. they, I, I think people, we should have more rich people. Yeah. Being rich is a good thing. Yeah, unfortunately, I see people bashing rich people. Don't oh. borrow money. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> or well, well, you invest. Know, I mean, invest, because a lot of people are just buying stuff just to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Like buying. 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 Like they can teach I mean, people how to yeah, invest why don't we their money. Why don't abundance is universal. Everybody would be abundant. There's no shortage right? of raw material in this world to work with. There's no shortage of infrastructure or anything yeah. else. See, they're trying to convince you that capitalism, what, all, you see, what we've seen is crony capitalism, yeah. which is capitalism where people break the law and then they have people in government who will let them get away with it. Exactly. We've never experienced true capitalism where those laws are enforced. What they're trying to convince, especially minorities, is that they're trying to convince us to accept a system where we're all equal under a third world condition. Yeah, yeah totally you're, you're not just not true. working hard enough. That's why you're not rich. Dude, it's true. Dude, I've been broke as hell that when I get up early and I hustle and I make things happen for myself, I'm doing all right now, man. Nobody has stopped me on my path to, su to success. And I'm not completely successful where I want to be, but I'm doing all right, man. And yeah. every, whether you're yeah. black, Hispanic, it, it does, white, it doesn't matter, trans, people I know who work hard, who think for themselves, they do well. But they're trying to put, put people on a welfare system. They're trying I to put... Have, uh, I'm an aging electrician. I've been working the whole last year. Like, I, I got laid off at the beginning of January. And worked for a different contractor to uh, put up a, a new 
the solar array and got laid off by that contractor too. So, I mean, this, this is the first free time that I've had all year. And I'm broke as shit. I've been working all year and I'm fucking broke. I don't know why. It, it doesn't yeah. really... Yeah, I know the feeling, sense. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, well, you know, it's it, it's New York City's tough, man. It's, no, no, I'm, I'm from Massachusetts. Oh, you're from... Well, Massachusetts is... is yeah. I came from... Western Massachusetts. Where about? Yeah. It, it would have been a lot cheaper to stay home. But, you gotta yeah. start your own business. Yeah, maybe. That's the trick. Yeah, you can't work for anybody. Business. You can't work for anybody. <laughs> yeah, small businesses are gonna get a push until the man comes with, like, where's my money at now? Yeah. And, and we're all fucked. But let's be honest, man. Yeah. There's no perfect president, man. He's gonna be there for four or eight years. Never be a perfect president. Yeah, you know what? It, if, if he can change things to a good direction, he might make some mistakes, he might do some things we don't like, but then four years from now, you get, but you know, what's not going to work is calling everybody a racist or a Nazi. My, I'm here to fight Antifa. I'm here to, I want Antifa to show, because my passion is to fight these people. Well, well, what who are think, they? They're like fucking anarchists, right? They're anarchists who want to call everybody, you see my man? They would call that man, just if, if they didn't see his skin color and they just read what he wrote, they're gonna say that's white supremacist Nazi scum. Think about that, man. Don't let them play us like he that. He was, I'm not gonna lie, the things you were saying, it was kind of divisive. Like, you can't just out of nowhere say Black Lives Matter is a bunch of trash, because that's not true. It's the, right. it's the small, it's the small minority inside of the major group that's making everyone look back. And the slander is not helping at all. But they, you know they do it on purpose though, right? I think people do it on When I was in Occupy Wall Street, you had, you know, I went down, when I was younger, man, I was really into the, the cause. Okay, I went to Occupy Wall Street, there was maybe like 70% just real people there to talk, but there was like a, a certain group of people who, who had complete control. When they said, we're gonna march to the Fed, everyone was like, oh, we're doing it. They had complete control over the situation. Yeah. It's the same with Black Lives Matter. Now, I haven't done enough research into Black Lives Matter, but when you got people like Soros, who through their affiliated companies, they put money into people's pockets. Yeah. They put money and they create strategy for disrupting things, yeah. like disrupting the Milo shit. Yeah, I mean, Black Lives Matter is a huge group, so there's room for so many yeah. different people with so many different agendas. Yeah. I, that, that, that's why I operate on my own. I'm a free man. I'm there you go. Free to do there you this. go. And that, that doesn't mean that the right doesn't have its infiltrators and that the alt-right doesn't have its in Of course, man. I mean, I personally think there's certain people like Richard Spencer are a fucking joke. Mm -hmm. I think he's pure shill. I don't know if you've seen that guy. I don't have no idea who Richard Spencer is. He, was, he, was, he had a speech after uh, Trump got elected. He did a speech in D.C. And they had he actually had Jewish friends of his out there doing Sieg Hale. And then they put it all over the news saying, oh, Richard Spencer is a Nazi out here. That, that I see that as shill, and you see Black Lives Matter has the same thing. They have people infiltrating yeah, that are there to yeah, specifically to ruin push it. them. Disruption. Yeah. That's That's what it is. So we got to be careful with that, though, of man. Of course, you know? we got to be careful. Like I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, yeah. if you agree with me or not, but we have to be careful with these people, man. We can't just let them keep playing around. And it ain't Trump. It ain't Trump. It's people behind closed doors. It's see, like no, I, I he's not know, even my issue. Not, like what, Trump is not my issue. Right. It's what I'm saying is he's not the policy. He's not the main. Like, he still has someone to answer to. That's why well, me like too. Him. But I've actually grown to, to actually like him, you know, more and more, you know, that just as a somebody who's This country one, needs a leader. You know, the leaders we have elected in the past 40 years. And listen, I've done nothing but ruin this yeah, country. This Turn us into a financial fucking, a uh, fucking, a pit of finance, you know? That's We're printing thing. money at the Fed Reserve for no reason. Thing. More people are homeless, more people are jobless. And we don't have an answer for that. We don't have an answer for, po for poverty. We don't have an answer for uh, disenfranchisement. We still don't have an answer for segregation. Um, there's no, we have so many questions, no answers. Everyone's looking for an answer. I don't have that answer, but I will be here every I'll be here every time that I can to keep spreading the message that he will not divide us, no matter who it is. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if this will be too strong. It's all good though, man. But you see, if you don't know what too strong, then that, that, you come out here and people who do know, you learn from that. You know exactly. what I mean?
my problem again is these Antifa scum who they stand here and anybody who doesn't agree with them, fuck off Nazi scum, man. You ain't learning shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you're not man. learning nothing. It's I used to be here. like that, bro. And it's also I, the I, Nazis who are coming like here, like, like doing all your hell shit, bro. You know, Why are you inside of this uh, yeah. environment yeah. doing that? This is not for you. This is not an environment to, to spread oh, yeah. hate. It's not. This is not an environment for hate. This is, this is people have differing opinions coming to a consensus of why we don't understand what the fuck is going on with this country. You know, we know our shit, they know their shit. We're trying to bring us together so we don't have to keep combating combating on an individual scale. You know, whether we're pro president now or anti president now, that the pro the person that we're protesting, he's not even the leader. He's not. He's not. So let's keep spreading the positive, t the spot positivity. Quit the division. And let's keep going. Let's just keep going. You know what I mean? No, I'm actually from Long Island, like more deeper in Long Island. Oh, really? Where? Yeah. Uh, Suffolk County. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So you just came out here for today? Yeah. Well, today was like my day off between school and like work, so. Let me give you advice, stay out here all day. People will come out more. Oh characters. no, definitely. Characters yeah, no, come out of the woodwork out here, man. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> I can't stay out here all day because I gotta do stuff. Yeah, exactly, me yeah. too. Because I might be here. I'm gonna be here for a little yeah. while. I just came out because I wanted to meet my mans because, you know, I just I just love people like that, man. He came out, he was just speaking information, he was giving book, whether you agree with it or not. I love people like that, man. There's so much. Yeah, we're gonna be out here for a while, so if you wanna come support, do so. That they just wanna like talk to they've got it from the stream and then just since they're close by they just like you were probably yeah. looking at the stream right exactly yeah and, so he, and i biked a, over here and there was another guy earlier too he was looking at uh, someone else um on the stream and he also came by because he was just on uh, like looking at it so. right 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 and i got mad respect for this too right here i met you before man yeah, i talked bro. to you before yeah. Yeah. how you doing bro okay, you weren't here yesterday though right he's a little sick so i took a couple days he's like, 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 like for can't, long, can't, can't be all yeah, right can't. Now. We got four years of this. What, you just came out here? Yeah, I just came out here because uh, uh, my man was out here and Paperboy was out. I mean, you know. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was waiting for like, damn, Paperboy. You know, I actually, I, you know, I, he's a cool kid, man. He, he ain't a bad dude, but he's out here filibustering. It's like, I, I just came out here like a mad aggressive, like, yo, stop filibuster, bro. That's, that's nonsense. But I'm, I'm not here to talk shit. You know, I, but I said, to, I said what I said to his face. Yeah, yeah. You know, anyway. Oh, at your angle, possibly. Oh, there's the shot. Yeah, man, all straight respect, bro. Like, this is here for us. We got to keep our messages going, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not about I'm dividing, but we have to... We, I think we can all agree that po the political system has done nothing for us as minorities. Like, it really hasn't done that. It never will. It, I don't think it ever will. Yeah. I don't think it ever will. Like... We've been disenfranchised for years, decades, you know. They don't even talk about the riots in uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma over 100 years ago. Like, they don't even talk about that shit, you know? What, was it in 19, between the 1920s and the uh, 1910s, there was a uh, uh, a pro-black uh, um, movement in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A bunch of businesses, doctors, cell phone businesses by black people, um, doctors, uh, teachers. It's all black people in one community, in one community, not excluding anyone. That community was shot, killed, bombed, destroyed, looted, raped, pillaged. An entire community by white people. I want y'all to understand that. This was Tulsa, Oklahoma, one of the most racist parts of this country. I just want y'all to understand that. Do your research. When was that? This was in, this is, I believe, between 1914 and 1922. It might have been 1922. But this was ongoing. It, it took it escalated to like a crazy climax. Just people died. Hundreds of people died. So you said it's basically like a genocide of a, of a mostly black. Yeah, community? Yeah, a genocide of mostly black community. It was a genocide in this in this country. Yeah. In this country in the early 1900s. Yeah, they never teach about it. They never teach about that. There, there's a lot they don't teach about out here, man. Yeah, don't there's teach a lot shit. they don't teach they, about they out here. They pick and choose. There's a lot they don't teach about the slave trade. There's a lot they don't teach about True. slavery, about civil rights, about the Federal Reserve, the gold standard. Yeah. The education, the, the, the whole point by why somebody like Ron Paul wanted to keep government out of education yeah. was because when you put government in education, they have interest 
and yeah, show yeah. them how you think so that you keep voting for them. And that's what that's what Democrats and Republicans have been doing to minority voters, especially yeah. through the education, through through rap music, yeah, through, through, especially through yeah. rock, whatever, it's an outlet, yeah. it, through everything. They're just trying to condition you to. You know what? Rap used to be really conscious, and now it's just like everybody's it's like, dumbed uh, down. Yeah, it's a business now. It's, like it's not spiritual anymore. Like, it's Okay, that's it. <laughs> you mean between like with rap artists this and rap artists that? No, Democrats and Republicans. Right, right. Yeah. What is it? Two, two wings, same bird. Yeah, I'm not drinking. Coca Pepsi. I probably say Coca Cola. Yeah, I, I go with Coke. Yeah. The, the, I guess if we're gonna the Mexican that. bottled Coke. Oh, because it's <laughs> yeah. I definitely say Coca Cola. Oh yeah, they use real sugar. Shout out to Coke and Pepsi though. Actually, that might get more expensive. That that's that would be my only problem with the wall is Mexican soda gets more expensive. That could be because I like the 125 the price tag. I like the Inca Cola. Yeah. I love Inca Cola. <laughs> Peruvian soda. That's Peruvian soda. Yeah. yeah. Get it. That's really so good. man. That's the 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 pineapple Haritos is probably my favorite. Ah, yeah, yeah. Or Charitos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all my Hispanic friends. How do you guys? No, no, I can, yeah, yeah, man, come on, support. Oh, See, I like how that. in the end you can just vibe with people. Like, you know, that's what I like about this. Because sometimes, like, we'll be on important issues. But we're all still people here. We see each other the same. Exactly. It's like, bro, I've come out here like late night when it's like mostly Trump dudes, and it's a hang too. And you know, there's some, you know, there's a couple dickheads for sure. And I no, I get it. Them. But it's just a big hang, bro. It's everyone's just getting along. And I think maybe that's what Shy meant by all this. Maybe he knew, yeah, so. you know what, there was gonna be a clash, yeah. and then eventually there was gonna boom, boom, boom. You know? Yeah, but he should, he should not have gotten into it himself. Oh no, like he took, I mean, yeah, he could have avoided. I think he should come back, yo. I want him to come, it's fun when he's here, man, it's more interesting. It's more interesting when he's here. But, like you said earlier, there are people who come here not for a purpose to speak out or go over this. Some people actually want to just be a celebrity. Right. You're absolutely right. You know, I think everybody should be able to make their bit of noise. No, yeah. I mean, I think people. Like you get so many different people. Like there's there's been nights where I just see like the most ridiculous things. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I Um, I remember there was a couple of people um, making a prayer to a little statue of frog. A little frog statue. Hey, what's up, man? Those are people we don't. Hey, don't be shy, man. Come join. That's okay. Join the that's, fun. Join the fun. That's fine. What's that on thermite? It's this type of incendiary that's present in all World Trade Center house. Dude, can you please bring this closer to the camera? Wait, what? Actually, if you get it closer, it probably will better off. Yeah. He actually has a better view. Google Nanothermite. Google Nanothermite and 9-11. Um, I have a, a bit of an issue with 9-11. Um, I was in New York City. I was about, what, nine years old when this happened. Um, all my friends were being escorted out of school, you know, by their parents, by the teachers. I was still there. Um. I didn't live too far from home, but yeah, my issue with 9-11 is there was supposedly a plane that hit the Pentagon, and I want to say that throughout everyone I've talked to, um, from uh, members of the military to people who've worked in the Pentagon during that time, um, no plane was seen, no plane was found, there was no debris. What the fuck happened? That's all I'm Right now. Yo, thanks for saying that, Bob. I've actually like just wanted to be here not too long, but I actually stayed way longer than expected. Yeah. But hey, it's all good. I like that guy, man. I just came back. Actually, do plan on coming back at one time, though. I know. You're so impressive. I mean, I'm so impressed. I was asked about it. Yeah, man, just come out, give your peace, bro. I know y'all have things to say that y'all want to say that y'all want people to listen to. Just speak your peace. You will not divide us. You will not divide us. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. Oh, y'all are popular right now, man. Nah. I don't know what's talking about y'all. Y'all should get on the camera. I thought it was just gonna be like, I was just gonna like, you know. That was interesting because y'all were out here, you know, just like, man, 
No, yeah, because the thing was. And people like, were like, yo, I can run this right now. But you know, now people are on the internet, right? And it was fun, it was fun. I was like, oh, let me turn this off. And then all of a sudden I hear. And I'm like, holy shit, yo, there's something going on. And I turn up the volume. Huh? No, I know. Oh, uh. No. There's like uh there's like a bunch of eggshells and like a whole bunch See, of bullshit. See, like I would I'm like y'all to stop vandalizing this site, please. I'm not patient. Stop right. vandalizing it. We're, we're, we're not gonna be able to use this place. Please. Let me take off. Yo, yeah, nice meeting. Okay. Take care. Carlos? Carlos, yeah, Christian. Nice to meet you, Chris. You want? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember these. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Y'all want to talk about, um, like, 9-11 right now, or what? Yeah, well, let's get a 9-11 talk going, brother. Okay. Yeah, look. Can we're we, now about to get a 9-11 discussion going. If you want, y'all you, you, can talk, and I can hold up the sign in the background. <laughs> what about positive Please, I think stuff? The like, positive I know 9-11 was, like, bad and stuff, but, like, Actually, what I, I mean, like Yeah, what, positive stuff. I believe that 9-11 brought us together as, like, people in this country a lot closer, you know what I mean? It did cause a lot of hysteria, you know, people are more, a lot more conscious within airports and stuff. But, you know, New York City is still kicking. <clears throat> we haven't stopped. Um, are you from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born and raised in the Bronx. I moved to Washington, uh, to Virginia, to be specific, for a couple years. You know, I love that place, Virginia. There's a lot of people. Yeah, but, yeah, man. Uh, so, to my knowledge, 9-11 was uh, a hijacking of uh, about three airplanes. I think four airplanes were hijacked. One of them never made it. Um, two of them hit the uh, hit the um, the towers. Um, one of them supposedly hit the Pentagon. Uh, thousands of people were killed. You know, uh, people were taken from their families. A whole bunch of shit. And it is believed that that it was that was an inside job. That it would there was no way two foreign people, uh, a couple foreign people, could hijack a plane without guns or anything. Most definitely a conspiracy. Most definitely. Yeah, it's a conspiracy. There's a lot of conspiracies with 9-11. I just want people to understand that. There's a lot of conspiracies with 9-11. I'm not saying what happened was a, a, a terrorist attack, but I know for a fact well, it was that, a terrorist there's, attack, that there's a lot of holes in it. Exactly. Well, what's, what's yeah. the definition of terrorism? It's using terror to achieve objectives. You know? Mass destruction. Control. Control, yeah. So what do you what do you think happened that day? Well, you know, years ago when I started looking into 9/11, everyone was telling me about this paper right here, active thermitic material discovered in dust from 9/11 World Trade Center catastrophe by Niels Harrod, uh, Jeffrey Farrer, uh, Kevin Ryan, among others. Uh, and in that material, was that material um was that material on the plane or in the buildings at all? It, it's in the dust. It's, in the it's, dust. It's, it's okay. in all the dust. Okay. And th this paper go, goes into that. But when I started looking for the paper online, it, it wasn't online. Everyone was telling me it was at this certain location. It wasn't there. Yeah. So, so what I did was I, I bought a copy of this from uh, Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. And I started photocopying it and distributing it at random. See? And I, I did this for one day. I, I distributed this paper for one day. And then at the end of that day, it was available online. Surprise, surprise. Because I, I had Power of justice. I, I had circumvented the, con the the internet control structure. See that that's what that's what they were doing. They were saying this paper exists online, but they weren't ever letting my computer go to it. Can you read out the name of the paper so people can check no. it out? Active thermitic material discovered in dust from 9/11 World Trade Center catastrophe. Herit et al. You, you, you'll hear it called. And uh, it's it's been heavily debunked. You know, everybody wants to debunk this paper, but nobody really can. The uh, the editor.